but today we're using the bare palette. When you open it up, what I really like about it is that it contains a dual end brush with a uh, E30 and an E25, which is a just a blending brush and a pencil brush. And that goes in here. So each palette has its own. But this is pretty much the bare palette. It has some nudes and then it has this sparkly black and then matte black. So that's what we're going to do today. I thought since I do a lot of, whoa, my ears look big. I thought I do like more of a nighttime, nightclubish look. And I got inspired by a picture from Kim Kardashian. And you know what? I wasn't even into the TV show until like a few months back. And I really started getting into it because of Chloe. I love Chloe. I love Courtney too but Chloe is like my favorite so um, you know I was like you know what I'm gonna do the smoky eye I don't think I've done the smoky eye in my channel so anyways talk to you guys later and hopefully you enjoy the video bye what I'm going to do is actually take this travel size um, Urban Decay primer potion and this one is in Eden which is pretty much just a matte eyelid primer and I'm also taking this brush from Urban Decay as well and I think it came in the same palette actually because I got that in a travel size from a makeup palette that I bought. We're going to start off by using Hitch which is just a dark brown and what I like is that this brush actually comes with a dual and um, eyeshadow brush. It just comes with a little fluffy blending and then a pencil brush at the end. And we're going to place this on the brow bone and on the crease as well. And usually I like I don't like to do like windshield wiping windshield wiping motion um, like back and forth like this because I feel like I drag the color everywhere. But since this is the first color that we're using, it's okay. So just go back and forth and really blend it out. Right, so you have something like this. Now we're gonna go into the darkest color which is the black. And this one is called control. Right next to it, you have another black, but this one has um, a lot of shimmer on it. You can choose either one, but I like to do matte. For that, I'm just taking a flat brush, like this one. I'm going to take it, and this one you want to start by patting it down because it's so heavy. I mean, I don't have any foundation on, so if you have any fallouts, um, you don't have to be as careful. I mean, if you don't have foundation, you don't have to be as careful, but... If you do, just start by patting it down. That way you don't have to redo your concealer and foundation. And then what I did next was take Snoop, which is a kind of like a black and brown mix. It kind of looks grayish, this one here. And I'm going to take another blending brush. This is the Sigma, like the 224, I believe. It's just a blending brush. And I'm just going to take this one. And I don't want to take the brown one because I don't, I don't want to overdo it. But I want to have like... A gradual change of color so I'm just taking this gray grayish black brown not too sure what it is and we're just gonna take it and we're gonna blend out this black line here which is very obvious right now but just take Snoop and you can mix it in with Hitch which is the first color and really buff it out. I'm gonna go back with the flat brush and I'm going to take Snoop place that right on the bottom eyelid, like on the outer half. I'm going to take um, the same brush that I was using, and this one, the E30, is the eye pencil brush. And you have two options here as far as highlight. And Elope is um, the one that is matte, and then this one is shimmery. So go ahead and choose whatever you want. I'm actually going to go in more with the shimmer um, highlight. The whole look is overall pretty matte. So go ahead and place that right underneath your eyebrow. You can go ahead and take some and put it in the inner tear duct as well. The eyebrows and for this one since they're matte I think they work really well for um, filling in your eyebrows. So I'm going to take Hitch which is the dark one which is the first color that we're using. I'm just taking um, this angled brush from Anastasia and I'm just going to go ahead and fill them in. Next, we're going to move on to foundation and I'm actually going to take this one. This is by e.l.f. This is a flawless finish foundation. I'm just going to take this flat brush and this is the Sigma SS197. It's just a flat um, like kabuki brush. I'm just going to take it right directly on top and 
I was on Twitter actually like when I found it I was on Twitter well when I found it I wanted to try the foundation out and I put that you know my first time trying it out and a lot of you thought it was like my first time but I meant my first time in a long time because I had just like rediscovered the foundation so anyways now we're gonna move on to concealer and I'm taking my number two palette and this is the one with the lavender corrector but I got it because these colors are really nice to mix together and they really suit me really well so I'm gonna take some of this and just place it underneath as you can see like it really brightens up the area underneath my eyes and that's usually like the only area that I use concealer it's just like in this little corner here and lately like I've been so stressed out like I had a fever of 105 it got like to 105 the other day and I was like hallucinating naked rats and ghosts I was like freaking out because I was like burning my brain cells anyways what I'm gonna do now is take my IT Cosmetics um, just translucent powder and this one's really good if you have like really large pores if you want to close them out fluffy brush and this one has holes already so just go in like this tap it out you can even swirl it on the lid if you want to get it all over the brush and just very lightly dust it over your face you don't want to overdo it with this because if you do and you take pictures, your face is going to look very ghostly. So just use very little and there we have something like that. Alright, so after that I'm going to move on to blush and for blush I'm using this one. This is a um, color wheel in peach glow by NYC which is so inexpensive but it's really like a really pretty color like it's such a natural glow so since we're using like very uh, my eyes are like really really heavy with black we're just gonna take this one and this is just a tapered highlighting brush the F35 also by Sigma I'm just gonna pat it on my brush cuz it's like very very loose if you swirl it in there and I'm just gonna use this as blush this is really so pretty and it's really matte so it looks really good move on to the lips I'm gonna take Mac um, Mac snob which is like a pink lipstick that looks like that and I'm just gonna put that on the lips take a lip gloss and this is NARS um, strip tease I believe it is strip tease and she usually uses um, orgasm by NARS but I do have it but I feel like it's overdone so we're gonna create something that looks similar using different stuff alright so um, we are pretty much done with the makeup but I'm just gonna get dressed to my hair and then I'll be back to show you the finished look so give me one second so anyways here's a glimpse of what we did today love it I usually don't have this much makeup on even when I do go out at night but I'm definitely gonna rock this out next time I go out cuz I don't know I feel like this is so nightclub appropriate so anyways hopefully you guys enjoy the tutorial and I will talk to you guys later bye